Well, I think, I think the vineyard really is a great place for kingdom dreamers, life dreamers, eternal dreamers, because as I've already mentioned, the cement is wet. We plan to keep it that way. But I also think there's something really important. Why the vineyard? Why, why would somebody think about it? It's because one of the things that our, our theology of the kingdom, we say that, it sounds like a big word, but basically what we're saying is the kingdom of God can minister in realities of great people's great successes. We can minister to people who are really on the right. They're really going for it. They're doing great. They're, they're favored of the Lord. Great things are happening. And we can minister to the lowest of the low who, who are sick, downtrodden, broken, broken mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually. We can minister to them oftentimes, oftentimes, because churches can become a niche type thing. We can minister in one arena, but they don't do so well in another arena. That's what I love about the vineyard. Globally, actually, I've watched it. We know how to live in the trenches, hands dirty, broken hearts, tears, nothing is right. Everything's got cuts and bruises on it. But I also see the vineyard in situations where where uh, it's, it's, it's happening in academics, in businesses, in, in government, things like that. Uh, if I was a young person, I would want to embrace something where what you bring, the message of the kingdom, the good news Jesus, can be applicable and, and find traction in all the realities of society. Not one particular. Now we never, because I don't think the kingdom ignores any particular situation. It's not just those who are down and out, those who are, who are marginalized, but of course it totally embraces that. But also those uh, that are at a different place in life, a different situation, social, economic. I like it that we, that we can work with people who have prayed their entire life for chronic disease and have not been healed, and we can minister mercy and, the, and sometimes the human frustration of, of, of a kingdom that has come and yet is still coming. Or we can pray, uh, I love it that we can pray for the sick and there is a, a, an in-breaking, a suddenly and cancer is healed and, and, and broken bones, broken hearts are healed. We live in that tension and we can live in both of those worlds. I like that. I think that's a very inviting thing to young people.